Ken here, the Unemployed Prop Guy. I talk to you about aging paperwork. Um, a lot of times you have to do uh, paperwork that has to have age to it. Um, obviously, when you print it, this is what you get. And this is with an inkjet printer, which you have to make sure you let it dry for at least a day. Um, laser is preferred if you could have access to a laser printer. And you could just see the difference. Here's another great example. Um, obviously, this is an old file from the FBI and the government talking about space UFOs. And, you know, with paperwork, you know, it's nice having that little um, rubber stamp to give some color and some realism to it. Um, I use coffee, uh, dark roast, uh, caffeinated, and soy sauce. Um, you use tea too, that's a little too light for what I was going for. I wanted a darker um, aging process. Um, so I'll show you how I did it. And uh, let me get you some close ups of some of this. You know, uh, oh, here's a good one. I like this one. You can see some of the places is lighter and darker, and both sides get a nice age feel to it. Um, yeah, well, this is how I did it. Enjoy the video, and if any questions, uh, please feel free to ask, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, see you guys next video. Okay, so you soak your printed paper in there. Uh, laser ink, or laser, is the best. This is, it's so it doesn't fade, you gotta make sure it's dry. Pour some more coffee on it. Make sure you get all the little nooks and crannies. Switch it around, make sure it gets good coverage. There. Now you just wait four to five minutes, depending on how dark you want it. Okay, after four or five minutes, you gently take it out. It's very delicate. Let it drip. Then you move it over to the next step. Okay, so you lay it on a piece of aluminum foil, kind of getting it a little flat. The more wrinkled, the older it'll look. And then for this one, I want to give it a little bit more aging. So I have a little soy sauce and I just kind of do a little drips, which looks like foxing like you see in old books. That's probably good. You don't want to overdo it unless you want to overdo it. Okay, now we take it to the oven. Okay, and then you open up your oven. It's set to 170. You put the aluminum foil and a piece of paper in there. and you wait for 10 minutes. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Let's take it out. Make sure it's dry. And check it out, it looks pretty good. Okay, next we take it over here. Okay, so you take your piece of paper as you put it down on a buffer page, cover it up. Wind up, and then I usually put like a butcher block on top, flatten them all, let them sit there overnight, add more books or weight to get them nice and flat.